With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us solve this question. The question says that enthalpy of dissociation of H2C2O4 gives 2H positive plus C2O4 to negative will be dash. If enthalpy of neutralization of strong acid and strong base is minus 13.7 kcl per mole and that of oxalic acid by strong base is minus 25 kcl per mole. Option 1, uh, option A 1.2 kcl per mole, option B 11.7 kcl per mole, option C minus 11.3 kcl per mole. And option D 2.4 kcl per mole. So in this question we have to find out the enthalpy of dissociation of C2 H uh, H2C2O4 which is oxalic acid. And here we are given enthalpy of neutralization of strong acid and strong base. And enthalpy of neutralization of oxalic acid by strong base. Right. So suppose we have HCl which is a strong acid and we have NaOH which is a strong base. So when they react they neutralize to form a salt NaCl plus water. So this is the neutralization of strong acid and strong base. This is strong acid and this is strong base. Right. Now basically what happens? Strong base and uh, strong acid and strong base, they dissociate completely. So when they dissociate completely, from HCl we get H positive ion and from NaOH we get OH negative ion. So when one equivalent of H positive and one equivalent of OH negative combine, they form H2O. So this is the process which we call as neutralization. And the enthalpy change for this process is known as enthalpy of neutralization and it is given minus 13.7 kcl. This is enthalpy of neutralization for strong acid and strong base. Right. Now, we are given enthalpy of neutralization of oxalic acid by strong base also. So, let us see. We have oxalic acid H2C2O4. This is a weak acid. It is a weak acid. Suppose when it reacts with NaOH which is a strong base, then there will be formation of salt Na2C2. O4 plus H2O. So when we balance this we get here 2 NaOH and here we get 2 H2O. So this is the complete equation. Now we can write this equation as here we have weak acid H2C2O4. We know that weak acid does not dissociate completely. So we write it like this only. Then NaOH is a strong base. So from NaOH we get OH negative ion so we can write 2 OH negative ion then from here we get here we get the anion C2 O4 2 negative if we neglect the sodium plus 2 H2O right so for this process enthalpy of neutralization is given minus 25 kcl per mole right this is the enthalpy for oxalic acid by strong base so minus 25 kcl per mole now we have to find out the enthalpy of dissociation when h2c2o4 gives 2h positive plus c2o4 2 negative so what we will do we will obtain that reaction by using this reaction and this reaction so let us see how we can obtain now if we multiply this equation by 2, let we multiply this equation by 2. So from here we get 2H positive plus 2OH negative will give 2H2O. Now what happens in that case? This is delta H. So it becomes 2 time. We have multiplied the equation by 2. So it also multiplies by 2. So from here we get minus 2 into 13.7 kcl per mole. So this is the enthalpy change. Right. Now what we will do. Let this equation be second equation. And this equation be first equation. So what we will do. We will subtract the first equation from the second equation. Subtract 1 from 2. 
So when we subtract 1 from 2 from here we get H2C2O4 gives 2H positive plus C2O4 2 negative. So this is the equation we get when we subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Now we have obtained this equation so the enthalpy change for this reaction will be so we will subtract the enthalpy change also. So we have enthalpy change for second equation minus 25 kcl per mole minus for first equation enthalpy change is minus 2 into 13.7 minus 2 into 13.7 kcl per mole so when we calculate this its value comes out to be 2.4 kcl per mole so this is the enthalpy change for this reaction which is enthalpy of dissociation of the oxalic acid because here oxalic acid dissociates to form its constituent ion. So 2.4 kcl per mole will be the correct option. Let us see. It is given in option D. So here option D is the correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.